110 percent we left it all out there on the field <laughs> all the buzz phrases and shit right. yeah. <laughs> okay it's recording and i'm just setting up the live i think that's better see you like this hey like we should probably talk about what we're going to talk about tonight though like we didn't really have a theme uh yeah no you don't <laughs> Oh, you know what the other problem is? All the stuff I want to talk about is on my phone. <laughs> oh, shit. Malcolm, it says you have to let me in. Let me in. Open up my back door. There you go. Sean Tizzle. <laughs> Call using oh, okay. internet audio? Oh, shit. No. Cancel? No, no just a uh, video. You're right. Just a five. Oh, no, close. Oh, well, that's right. right. Nummy, nummy. Christopher Morgan. Sarah, I'm glad you did your hair. <laughs> what are you talking no, about? No, I because you didn't hair? do it. Well, one of the vaginas has to look nice. Dude, like, I haven't washed it today or anything. I just kind of did some dry shampoo up here in the bangy bangs, and I was like, <laughs> I, need to do that. I need to do that. I would have my bangs down way more if I did that. I Dude, still- dry shampoo is so cheap, and it fucking works amazing. Is anybody aware of what episode this is? Uh, 10. 10. Or 10. <laughs> Depending on if you count the last one. Yeah, the last one was. Dressed. That should be like 9.1. <laughs> yeah, it should be like a bonus. So. Uh huh. Call this one the real episode 10. <laughs> a dumpster fire. That shit was fucking funny, though. It should be 10 points. I didn't, I didn't get to hear it because my be phone 10, would 2. cut 0. off. AKA. That's dumb. Start it. Episode 10. 10.20. 10. Hey, Chris, your face is frozen and you're just this. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm trying to change my name. Episode oh. 10, part 2. What? What are we calling it? 9.20. AKA 10. the real episode 10. Yeah. <laughs> AKA John Wick. <laughs> John Quick. John Quick, because he uses the real one. All right, suckers. Oh, we are live. Live on Facebook. Live, live. Let us say live. Live on Facebook. Oh, we're live, fuck. <laughs> Let me into your timeline. Make world. sure you share it from the app this so we can get comments and stuff. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. We are There's live. Me. Oh, no. <laughs> we are live. <laughs> I gotta change it. I gotta change it. All right, get your asses out there and share Get this. your ass to Mars. I'm <laughs> trying. Get your ass to Mars. To the chopper. There we go. On Mars. We're live right now? We are. We are. <laughs> Five minutes later. Oh, fuck. Oh, we shit. We're recording. <laughs> oh, fuck. Are we? I was no. going to ask Sarah something, but I'll ask later when it's not live. Just text me. I can't. All right, let's hit this. F. F this. F this. F this. Fuck this, Mr. White. Well, all right, all right, all right. Welcome to another lovely episode of F This. And hey, hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you doing, Uh, Canada? Hi, hi, hi. Well, how are you? This is uh, episode uh, The Real 10, aka 10. (laughs) The Real Episode 10. 10.205639. To the power of seven. To the power of pi. Squared. That's right. <laughs> yes, folks. So welcome to this lovely fucking episode. Uh, I am Duff. Shante. Emilio. Sarah. And, and you. And them. And them. And you, our audience. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> They're sitting over there on the couch. <laughs> Where's the it. applause? <laughs> on the, on the casting bomb. couch? Oh, I yeah. need an applause. <laughs> Yeah. Casting couch. Why is it sticky? <laughs> nice. It's totally a black couch. Yes. We cast. I'll get some uh, fun sound effects on the stream board in the stream deck in the next episode. Yeah, please. We would we would appreciate that. I want to put this out there to all the, any listeners and viewers out there too. If you can record a sound bite, a simple sound bite of yourself saying "f this" and yes. send it. Send it in. Send it. Send, send it. Send it to any of us. Really. Or any of us. Yeah. Anybody. Anybody. Any one of Just us. Just saying, F this. You can say it. Whisper it. Jesus. It, grown it. However you do it. Just do it. Yeah. Just make it. <laughs> F this. You should have Corinne do it. She's a voice actress. Do you? Ooh. She is. 
She's all set up, all specialized. You get her to nice. do uh, like different voices and accents and inflections. <laughs> and... That's right. Like yeah. Inflections. Yeah, yeah. I she does thing. I'm tired of going to Fiverr for everything. <laughs> <laughs> we, should we get an official like? Should we alter our 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 logo a little bit? No. Make it truly ours. That's mm-hmm. rude. I know it's a little rude. I went through a lot of work to make that. I made that. I know you made it. Let's we have stickers it, all over the place. Let, let's keep it for like five years and then like get somebody to, I don't know. Tweak it. Tweak it. Tweak it? Maybe make it. What up? 13 like, viewers, like, y'all. Viewers. Let's get what? this oh. ball on the road. Uh, we have 13 why viewers? Guys, why have... Nine now because you guys are like lagging. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't really I got volume. I don't really care. I was just, just like, putting it out there. I care. <laughs> are, you gonna, are you gonna go fucking cry about it? Go cry about it right. in the fucking corner. I'll take well, give me your shirt so I can blow my nose in it. I'm gonna start my own network. <laughs> our current logo. Neil's dad's gonna be real bad. <laughs> he will be. Anybody that has a t shirt or stickers is gonna be like, fuck those guys. Fuck I, still, I still need to get our current logo as a patch on my denim jacket. Yeah. That's I right. think I'm gonna go as far as to get that shit tattooed on my well, Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. What am I supposed to do with my ass tattooed now? God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Put it you have it ball. tattooed on your ass, Malcolm? It was a no. surprise. <laughs> Hello. You guys talked about it. I didn't. Do it. <laughs> it was. It was going to be the. It was going to be announced on the uh, one year anniversary show. I was going to actually just when when we went live, my ass was going to be on camera, and that's. <laughs> you should at least the shave first. The <laughs> eyeballs by your butt crack and make it talk. Nice. Have you guys seen that lady with the octopus tattooed on her butt? Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. is this? That's I'm fucking like, intense to have an right? octopus oh, yeah, butt hole. She's got like, yeah, there's one that's pretty fucking famous, though. That's fantastic. Like, is that octopusy yeah, lady? Like a, oh, wait, she's Optimon. Yeah. She <laughs> wasn't a porn star. You gotta be crazy. Game she of was. porn talk. No freaking way. Yeah. Porn she was, like, she was, like, <laughs> she was like some sort of like Instagram famous for yeah. a bit, and then she became a porn star. Right. Yeah, that's what I want to do with my Instagram fame. <laughs> Fucking right? go fuck on a leather couch. Ooh, Ooh, that's hot. We, well, hurry well, up. I have there's one, one here. <laughs> Sorry, that was really loud. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Chante, hurry up. I have a couch. I'm trying to, but you know. Fucking Border Patrol. <laughs> my immigrant ass. <laughs> Your immigrant ass. Mm. <laughs> Wait. Oh, Courtney says, what kind of weird tattoos do we have? No, oh, they got some really dumb ones. Yeah, they got some really bad ones, Courtney. Like, one of their good friends is a tattoo artist, so. Oh, I haven't got anything like dumb from him. No, he's a he's actually a, one of the best tattoo artists I know around. Well, yeah, but did did he tattoo some like weird shit on you guys? We should have him on a show. I think so. Just no. to talk, well, you, no. he has his own podcast actually. So if you guys <laughs> want to go check that out, it's part of the network. He makes a good guess, man. He's he's got some fun shit to talk about. So. Yeah, he's got the gift of gab for fucking sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you guys? We want to know the listeners and viewers out there. What kind of weird tattoos do you have? Rattle off in the comments. Yeah. Yeah, Courtney. What <laughs> tattoos do you have? What weird okay. birthmarks so, do you? Have Hi, Christy. Talking? Should I should I put it out into the fucking world and tell my most embarrassing tattoo? Yes. Which one is the most embarrassing to you? The one on my tummy. Oh, you <laughs> camera right now, dude. Yeah, that, that one's pretty cool. Do it, Chris. Let's go. Oh, it's Legendary. It's pretty hey, fucking. Oh. Do yeah. it. Okay, do if we, it. If we can get five more shares on this video, Duff will show you his tummy tattoo, and That's you're right. going to love it. His tummy tattoo, like a fucking like, Teletubby. We're like, <laughs> it's, it's actually a TV screen. <laughs> we're like cam girling him out. You guys got to throw coins or yeah. his belly. I Make sure you throw him nice and hard. Oh, nice. If Courtney you want to transfer, a fucking... he'll take a She's transfer. got a little farting pig right here on her arm. That's what? pretty badass. That's okay, cute. post a pic, Courtney. Or a yep. That's right. I don't think she that can post sense. a picture in this. No? Um, no. Well, no. She can post it to our page, or she can send it. Courtney, in. send me your farting pig uh, tattoo yeah, yeah. through Messenger, and I'll show it right now. Live. Yeah, I, yeah, sh- I feel like that. I should get a, a farm animal tattoo somewhere. A farm animal. At least some right? chickens. I love chickens. I'm, I'm like they're I'm really cute, too, man. They're extra crispy. Wait, we were we were on something really pretty fucking like drugs. 
I wish. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, no. Tattoos? Yeah, we were on something. We were on something before we started talking about our personal tattoos. Right. We were talking about octo octo butthole. Oh right? yeah. Right? Octo butthole. Octo- Is that octomom? But like after octo- surgery. Butt, after octo butt. Did you not notice that butthole tattoos got really predominantly fucking popular for a while? I've Do you think it would hurt to have a butthole tattoo? All the like nerve endings there. Are you kidding? That's probably one of the most I, point, I, painful I think places. I'd imagine it'd be exactly. like tattooing your lips. I, yeah. Your outer lips? Which yeah. lips? I know. I'm like. Your outer lips? <laughs> Me and Carol. <laughs> your labia? The ones above. Majora? Do any of our we have different labia? lips. Our tattoos? Yo, what up, Tristan? <clears throat> Just going to say that. You get mouse lips tattooed on your other lips. You <laughs> right. know, butthole tattoos and nipple hearts. They were they both got famous. Nipple hearts. Got nipple same hearts. Same hearts. Yeah. Nipple heart. Like a heart around your nipple? Yeah. Like they, they, make use, your they, they use the same color as your areola. areola. And then oh, that's cute. So it looks like a heart. Yeah, it's it, really that, it is pretty cute. It's pretty dope. Interesting. I don't know. My shit's really light. Like they'd have to like mix half white and then maybe a drop of pink. <laughs> pictures. No proof without pictures. Yeah. Malcolm okay. said it. Everybody out there, what color are your areolas? <laughs> Please send us pictures of your areolas. I haven't looked in a while. I, don't like Something color my areolas. I was told that um, the color of your nipples should be the same color of lipstick that you use. That's how you tell what yes. color lipstick you're supposed to use. You check yes. your areola? You look I have a problem then. You either, you either check, you check your areolas or you... Yeah, Sarah, you're really overdoing it. You check your areolas or you check... <laughs> Yeah. It's not the Majora, it's the other one. I'll just paint my areolas with my Lady lipstick. My Nora. And check your labia menorah. <laughs> Squat over a mirror. Well, thank God yeah. mine are black. <laughs> and make you know, <laughs> pull your wings apart. Have your wings? Yeah. Spread your wings and fly. Fly away. That's, isn't that what Seal was singing about? Or whatever his name is? <laughs> was it Seal? Seal? No, it was Lady? R. Kelly. Yeah, it was always R. Kelly. Fuck that guy. R. Kelly likes to oh, sing about golden showers. Fly like, like an eagle. Fly like an eagle. Isn't that Seal? That was Seal. Fly like an eagle. That was, like an eagle. That that was Seal. Good. That was not Seal, wasn't Oh, it was Seal. It and was. then who covered it? Lenny Kravitz. That wasn't Lenny Kravitz. He covered it, I said. No, well, Lenny Kravitz made a different version. It was like, um, fly like a seal. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. It's All right, guys. All right, you ready? It's, it's, Here's the it's, farting it's, pig. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's dope. <laughs> oh. I can't do that. That's not, that's not a bad tattoo. Right, Sarah? That's a, still a good tattoo, though. You want to yeah. ask her if she's willing to share that on the edited video? I'll put that up on the screen the same way I did with Neil's photo. That'd be, I don't yeah. know if you guys watched that video <laughs> that I edited. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, she's, I'm sure she's fine with it. Yeah. But I asked her to make it all like yeah. legal. Like, hey, can I touch you in your nice place? Uh, yeah, something like that. Need consent, right? Consent, right? Consent. Sign, the, sign the papers. This is 2020. We only do it with consent. She said, sure, go for it. And she posted it on the thingy so y'all can see. There we go. How many oh, shares? Thank you, Courtney. Have? We appreciate Tommy, it. The shares Tommy tattoo yet? No. I can't tell over here how many shares we have. Yeah, we can't. I can't see. Here, let me go back. I'll do it. I, I can't tell if we have any more shares. For the most part. As soon as you step out of your uh, Zoom app to go surfing on your phone, your video freezes. Yeah. Mine make a funny face before you do it. Yeah. Uh, dirty, dirty. <laughs> yeah. Technically, oh, Cher. Look at her. It's seventy fucking four years old. Yeah, man. Fuck yeah. off, Cher. Killing it. <laughs> hey, she looks pretty fucking bomb. Like, I don't know if she's a surgeon or what. Right. I, that's why I was Something. saying. I was like, she must plug herself in at night, like in a your car. Oh, let's... dude, she's from another planet. Let's talk about that video of those kids that found the. Oh, oh, the body. The TikTok. Yes, the TikTok. Yeah. The I'm sorry, but the smell right. alone should have just like let you. You smell right. a body once, and you well, never. They, where were they when the Seattle happened? It, it was West Seattle. Seattle. West Seattle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was going to say, I, if it was Florida, I mean, the, what, what was it called that they were doing? They were, uh, <laughs> it was like a random. Uh, they were just biking, I think. Called, so it's yeah, like... they were just like hanging out, and they mm-hmm. saw the suitcase. They're like, "Does it have money in it?" And then they yeah, they were joking that yeah, there was money in it. Right. Can you but define said, random knot? But they said uh, random knot led them there, and that's where like random knot is something like where you go Shut on a journey up. based on like. Uh, random coordinates or something like that. 
dude. So, that's sick, yeah. dude. Yeah. That is fun as fuck. I want to do think, it. I think yeah, that's but what, what not, if, so, gonna, not, not, if, not if it's going to lead you to bodies. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't want somebody out there decaying for like four by years. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you body? Dude. Remake. Somebody's got to re-edit that video and put Stand By Me in the background. Dude. Right? I think they were I using think we an need app, to do that. like a random not app, maybe. Yeah, it sounds and like it led them right there. to that shit. And like, there, <laughs> there's a bit of dispute online whether or not like somebody purposely put those coordinates in, or if you know they just, just so randomly put that in. It's coincidentally. Okay, well, like, uh, that's a little crackers. coincidental, especially since they found more bags, right? Yeah, but mm. what happened was like when they opened it. And then the smell, you know, chased them off. They sort of were still watching it, and the tide came in, and then it washed it out. And some of the bags, like, actually got washed out in. So they had really. I didn't see that part. Yeah, there was like two videos online. The other, uh, the second one that kind of went in a bit more in depth with it, because the first one that we yeah, it shows her calling the police. Yeah. Yeah. So the second one, they were like, oh, no, the tide's coming in. And you could see it, like, the pulling suitcase the, getting pulling pulled suitcase. in. And, like, they said some of the bags inside it got washed out. Oh, dang. So they, they had to get divers to, like, go and uh, get those bags. That's so crazy. Yeah. Wow. Did Have they identified the person? Um, I don't think so. Oops. Yep. Not yet, yeah. at least. Yeah. yeah if ever, there, made was, public if ever there was a time to bring Dexter back. Right. It's now. And well, it, I'll let us know. If there was yeah. if there was ever a time for Mars to attack, it'd be now. Yeah, that too. Ack, 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 I wonder if it's like a serial killer if he'll keep doing it. Yeah, you know what this you know what that reminds me of? In the box. You have yeah. that, that that show Don't Fuck with Cats. Yeah, like yes. how that dude like What's so funny yes. is you said that and what I when we were talking about it earlier, I was in the kitchen and I was totally thinking about that guy. Yeah. Because he put the body in suitcases. Yeah. Yeah. And he put it like in the alleyway. Yeah, and, and they found it because the it was it was smelly and all the goo was coming out of the yeah. suitcases. Yeah. And then he was mailing wow. some body parts to like some of the political parties mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's so weird that you brought it up because I was thinking about that. As soon as I thought about suitcases, I thought about that guy. Yeah, that's what I thought when I saw it too. I was like, man, this reminds me of that but that uh, really narcissistic dude from that show. <laughs> That's that you? so gnarly. Huh? You talking about you? That, that no, 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 oh, no, no. This show called uh, Don't Fuck With Cats. Oh, okay. On Netflix. Oh, no. I've heard about that shit, and I heard that it was really fucking sad, and then I was advised not to watch it, so I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> well, it's, it's messed oh, up. You, you should, have to watch it. Watch it's it. crazy. It's insane. And, it's like, like, yeah, there's some parts that are, like, we didn't Fuck watch up. those parts. Like we like turned the sound off. Yeah. When we didn't watch it, but it's like not. They don't show. Um. They don't show anything. But you graphic, in no. your in your heart and your feelings, you're like it's not okay. But um, we passed through that and then like we watched the rest of it. It's like it's like a Tiger King. Like yes. it just it draws you in and then you can't stop watching because there's so many twists and weird shit. Like it's there's like a lot of craziness, really dark shit going on. But and then at like one point you're like, you is in. he even guilty? Was it him or what's going on? It, it, like Whoa. so many twists, it's so weird. Yeah, it's Tiger trip. King levels crazy. <laughs> Tiger King oh, level. Yeah. I like that that's like a household name now and like a reference. Like, how crazy was it? Was it Tiger King crazy or was it like Donald Trump crazy? Like, what spectrum are we looking at? Uh, we're sort of comparing <laughs> it's just, at this same point, fucking spectrum? Just fucking at this point. No, because one is hilarious and the other one's scary. And they're actually both a little hilarious. Okay, at this point, I guess you're right. Touche, Chris. Touche. With the tsunami watch for Mexico right now because of the earthquakes there. Oh, sure. Mm-hmm. Since this morning, that's that was so going. sad. Like I saw some of the videos um, of people. I didn't even just get a filming. To, like dig into that yet. I don't want to dig into that. What are we digging in here? Well, that, uh, and I don't know if Yemen is going to exist. Tsunami, tsunami after a while. What's funny is on my Facebook Wait. memories on this day. What was it? it said, um, "Has anybody checked on um, something today?" I can't remember which country it was. They were having like volcanoes and everything last year at this time. And I kept showing you on my Quake app. Mm. Uh, we were just talking about that yesterday or the day before, too, Shantae. Yeah, yeah. It's was what it the Philippines? No, that was this year. Thailand? It was, no, it wasn't that. It was something. Indonesia? And I was like, yeah, it was Indonesia. It was I think Indonesia. it was. And I was like, has anybody checked on Indonesia lately? I'm like, they're not going to exist. <laughs> and then today I was telling Chris, shit. dude, Yemen is, it, they're not going to have any people there. Like, they're, they're not. It's so sad. 
And yeah. I was like, how crazy is that? Memory. It was a year ago today I said that. But it's just a different country today. That's crazy. I mean, if you look at everything collectively, like we have shit happening here with the riots and like the huge Black Lives Matter movement. And then we have um, the pandemic, some fucking plague that's going around. And then we have an earthquake and then there's cyclones. And then there's, I kind of just feel like at this point, whatever stronger power there is, is just rolling the dice. Like, oh, Yahtzee. <laughs> I'm just yeah. waiting because I'm watching that ring of fire just light up with volcanic um, activity and earthquakes. And I'm just like, just fucking bring it at this, you know, what else? That releases pressure. Actually, the smaller yeah. earthquakes release pressure. So they're good. good. It is good. I'm just like, yeah, waiting. Just I think waiting. everybody's just kind of sitting on their hands, kind of waiting for their, a really big one, depending on whatever the fuck it is. Like, I'm not okay with this water. because I'm literally right on top of it. So I love you guys. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you know, volcanoes, big earthquakes, Japan. What does it all mean, you guys? What does us. it mean? <laughs> I'm just waiting. I'm still waiting for Godzilla and King Kong there to go at go. it. Right. Oh, my God. My kid said that yesterday. He's right. like, if Godzilla comes, I'm out of here. I said, where are you going to go? He goes, heaven, I'm out. <laughs> I was like, that's not how it works. I'm waiting for the rapture. I'm waiting for like, okay. the trumpets and yeah, everything. I know what the fuck? Out. No. <laughs> what would you guys do if all of a sudden like two people were just boop? That's right. I think Neil is the most wholesome one here to actually. Neil, what would you guys do if Neil just shot up through the ceiling right now? I'd be uh, on his legs. Seriously. Oh, jump on. Not going down. Jump on. Like, great. We're not getting our deposit back. What, what, if I just, like, what if I just disappeared? Just like leftovers. Oh, you'd be a like Spider a, Man. Not, yeah. I mean, oh, we're just dust. Dude. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Man. I'd be really sad. That'd be, be like real really sad. weird. It's I like, hope I get. You'll look away for like a moment, and then suddenly, boop, gone. But it's good uh -huh. if you're raptured, right? It's good. It's not bad. You're like going home to like the pearly yeah. gates or whatever. Yeah. See, the only I issue that. I would have with that <laughs> does, does is, heaven have vodka? Is is oh, dude, you know, it for, rains for vodka. The left behind. I'm question. too empathetic for like the people that would be left behind. <laughs> they have vodka waterfall. That all the and wine things too. I'm pretty sure there was a galaxy in space that's like tastes like vodka. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is pretty funny. It There's... smells like fart, but it tastes like vodka. Guys, good. Just plug your nose. <laughs> <laughs> so this this is really funny. Um, one of one of our viewers just said that it's, all, it's, it's only fish. June. We still got plenty of time. Yeah, uh, Christy makes a good point. Yeah, yeah. We she still does. have half the year to go. Half a year. Yeah. Right. And. What did what did June bring? Well, we can't us? die yet because Brilliant. the Snyder Cut's June did, coming, man. June did, what? Didn't really bring much. Like the Snyder, like the pretzels? No, the Snyder Cut of Justice League, man. Yeah. I'm waiting on that. Show. Oh, <laughs> you can't so die till far, next my year. favorite part of June is nobody showing up to the Trump rally because that was good. Everybody oh. pretended to buy tickets. That was, good. That that was, was great. great. I fucking love fuck that. Like, how hard do you it's think fine. he cried? Yeah, uh, pretty hard. He, he cried so hard his makeup so came defeated. off, right? Did, did you see his collar? It was like yeah. orange brown. He right? looked so defeated. <laughs> like someone shit down his throat, brown. Oh my god. You're talking really about bad being diarrhea. so fabulous and people are going to knock you off your high horse. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stop being so fabulous. So know. what did June bring for for uh, 2020? For 2020. Like, well, yeah, I'll say right now, that Columbus, that Columbus, that Ohio. Is about to be renamed Flavor Town. Flavor Town, yes, I saw that. I'm so down <laughs> because then we could really go. I'm that man, but I'm behind it. 100%. I love Guy Fieri. He's such a dude. He's such a dude. He's so, such a douche. so down. He's so friendly. I cannot stand that man. <laughs> I don't, I don't, he's an absolute fucking uterus. Because you he's don't so like his hair, his appearance. He's, he's Ohio, nice. He's a nice right? guy. He he's, enjoys good food. He's disgusting, but <laughs> I he eats like this. Mm-hmm. I'm with Sarah 100%, but I totally agree. It should be called Flavor Town because that's fun. That is yeah. fun. Right? Why then not? we could really go to Flavor Town and then the next trip we can go to Pound Town. It'll you be great. You guys straight to hell, you fucking Guy Fieri haters. I'm like, babe, take me to Flavor Town. He's like, you got it. It's right next to Pound Town, Shantae. Guy Fieri's Woo! going to heaven with Neil. <laughs> and we're going to be staying down here together. <laughs> we're going to stay down here where we belong. We'll be hunted by cannibals. Bitch, he can't get into heaven with those fucking bleached ass tips, please. 
Sure, man. Are you oh, talking about not? Malcolm's bleached ass tits? No, <laughs> Guy oh, Fieri. I, I was like, dude, are you talking <laughs> like, about Malcolm? Or are you talking about Guy Fieri? I do not bleach my tits. <laughs> I, I thought you did. Just the tip. Just the tip. I just, did, just I just don't have areolas. It doesn't count when it's just the tips, sweetie. <laughs> bleach nips. <laughs> <laughs> you get they the, got butthole bleach. You get to heaven if your tips are bleached because it's just the tip. Doesn't it's count. It's just you know. There's the title oh. of the episode right there. I'm, I'm trying to think of who is a religious you figure. You get to heaven with your bleached tips because it's and just the tip. Jesus probably had natural highlights. It was hot as fuck back then. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah. You know that shit was all flowing? Yeah, Mark McGrath. But you, but you definitely know he's not talking Caucasian. talking about going to heaven. Reverend McGrath. <laughs> he and he had bleach tips. Oh, my God. That's we need to do research. Ah, uh, yes. Maybe that's why the Pope wears that big hat to hide his bleach tips. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's, uh, let's move the show on a little bit. All right, all right so, uh, How many of you had bleach tips in high school? <laughs> there we go. Right early two thousand. I, I never think... had bleach tips, but I did have fully blonde hair. Yeah, I remember that. I remember blonde that, yeah. ass fucking hair. So yeah. all of us girls had bleached hair. If it was not me or tips or something, and all the boys had bleached tips. So. Yeah. I had like a chunk for a while, but that was way after high school. You did too. a skunk. Love, love nice. chunk. I like yeah. the, skunk. the skunk stripe's nice. Hmm? You me, skunk stripe. I never had any of those hip hairstyles. I fucking I had the <laughs> the butt head hair stuff and do this. Yeah. I think I just side shaved and that was it. Nice. The only thing I can do or have ever done, like I could give myself a ponytail right now. Your pad <laughs> one braid. Uh, yeah. Your pad one braid. You, oh, you, do, should, you should, totally should do a pad one braid. Yeah, do it. Do one. Okay, Girl so one. Not a tail. Pad one braid. Here. Bleach tips. <laughs> Uh, Speaking of that bullshit, I saw something on Facebook where it was like a mullet that changed my life and it was business in the front and like thug life in the back because he had cornrows. Oh, <laughs> nice. I want to see somebody do like a backwards mullet where it's long on the front and then short on the, on the back. You know what I mean? But it wouldn't because the front would go and like cover like it. Like your bangs, but long, just like, you know what I mean? <laughs> short all around. <laughs> yeah. Really and long And spiked bangs. on top. Dude, no, that was like Danzig with the devil lock. If somebody wants to get that hairstyle, yeah. I'll pay for it. No, not just not the devil lock. I'm talking about full on frontal, just I'm just in saying. your face. Yeah, nice, like flowing, just nice. Yeah, just like flip it, picking them all and go whoop, flipping flip it, around. it around. Yeah, flip it around. Flip it you look like a little trash can. Yeah, with the the little trash bag with the thing. I'm just thinking of that pop artist Shia because she always had her face covered with, with her, her hair. Is that how you pronounce it? Shia. I don't Shia. know. Shia. I thought it's it was Sia. Island. S-I-A. Sia. 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 Oh, yeah. we have a we have company. Sia. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know much about her at all. Like, I, I just know a few, a few I don't of her know how songs. She those big bows on Can you head. sing any of them? You guys know any of her songs? Oh. Super glue, motherfucker. I'm trying to think of the songs. They're so big. I wonder if they have like <laughs> wire inside them. Probably not. Huh? I bet you they're foam. She's like. Like Lady Gaga with her style. Yeah. Lady Gaga was just, she was way out there. Oh, yeah. With the meat curtains. Well, she still is. I remember that. <laughs> that was extreme now, I feel like. No, not anymore. Now what was her last thing? She went out without pants. So that was the last thing. <laughs> I don't know. She just released something new, so that, who knows? Yeah, she always brings them crazy when she's dropping a new album. Nobody's dropping new albums right now except for the underground powers. <laughs> like, it's their time, pretty well, much. Probably oh, because there's no. no way to promote it. Billy least. Talent has some new singles. They're pretty good. Yeah, I wasn't into them early 2000s when they first came out, but now I'm starting to feel it. You know, mm. it's all right. I like it. Like uh, Alexis on Fire. I wasn't big on them when I was younger, but now I'm digging them. Yeah, that's so the same yeah. for me. It's like, I wasn't, I mean, I liked a few Alexis on Fire songs here and there when I was younger, but yeah. I didn't like exactly appreciate them. I was yeah. more, Billy Talent for sure was was. Mm. My biggest uh, favorite band. Are these Canadian like, uh, people? They're, they're Canadian, Canadian band. band. They're, they're affiliated to I'm all. members in the other band. I like Alexis on Fire, and I didn't <laughs> learn about them until I was in my 20s. Yeah, they're good. I like them. I worked security for a Billy Talent concert back in 2004 when they just released their first album. I don't mm. know what that is. Security? You no. Just, you just... <laughs> Not Billy security? Talent? Are you serious? <laughs> Billy I Talent. I don't know what that is. What's being a security? Billy Talent is like uh, what I don't I don't know like post punk, 
kind of hardcore. I'd say like rock. hard rock, yeah. alternative. And they, they, it's people, when people refer to them, they, they call them him. And it's like, it's not a him, it's a them. Right? Yeah. They took their name from uh, Billy Talent from um, the movie based on uh, a book called Hardcore Logo. Yeah. Okay. He was a character in that book. Well, yeah. Uh, Sarah, um, what are you doing? I'm trying to think of who. Drinking that. vodka and eating popcorn. Did you, get to... a, did you get a good <laughs> step of vodka? Like... Yes, I did. I like hit the end and I was like, fuck, I didn't mix that. <laughs> Duff took off and now he's chat. He's in the chat room. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably on the toilet. He's pooping. Yeah. He's like, hey guys. Make nice turds. I'm still here. <laughs> Yo, before this, we had a shot of Patron to warm up. Is anybody else out there drinking? Cheers to you. That I'm pretty cool. sure everyone is fucking drinking at this point. That's all there is to do. Right? It's 2020. Yeah. Well, you have those essential people that still have their jobs and they're working. No, oh. I would be shit-faced every time I got off work. <laughs> With the <laughs> amount of angry Karens that come in and people's you know, conspiracy theory yeah. bullshit on the pandemic. With the Karens that refuse to wear their masks and social Not Karens. I hate Karen. I have never met a nice Karen. You know, if you're a nice be? Karen, I, I want to hear from you. We should all bring a video in I don't of know a Karen. I don't know any Karens. Either. We should all bring a video in of a Karen and we'll... we'll I know one. And the best video will get Karen of the week. Dude, I've had... <laughs> it's about, like, the living in customer service, dude, I've had people throw shit at me. Mm -hmm. Like, people just insane so people. Just... Yeah. Dude, I did taxes for like six years. When you're fucking around with people's oh, money man. from Uncle Sam, whoo! Yeah. yeah. I learned a bunch of new cuss words in Spanish. Dude, all you gotta oh, yeah. do is stand at a till and people shit on you. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah. Did you, hey, okay, did you say stand at a tilt and people will shit on you? Stand at a till. Oh, yeah, in, in, in so Canada, yeah. they call registers tilts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean register. Stand it, no, no. Kind you guys like, mean till. Megan says fuck Karen. She's never I met a nice Karen know, either. See, this is a shout out. If you are a nice Karen, please Same. like meet up with us and say, I am not a fucking douchebag Karen. I am a nice Karen. You're, I saw someone a, has a sign that said Karen's against Karen's. <laughs> you're, not, you're not a K E K A R E N. You are a C A R I N. C -A. Mm -hmm. One of my best friends, his mom's his mom's name is Karen, and she didn't know about like the whole thing with the with Karens associated with the name. I wonder what happened. How that happened? I feel like we only have I think it was Karens who are people's moms. I don't think we know anybody new. Like nobody in our generation got named. Oh, you the name like mm. old school name, right? I would say so. How about those names where it just sounds like an old guy's name? It doesn't, you, you see a kid with that name, you're like, it doesn't suit you. That'll <laughs> suit you in 50, 60 years. Are you like, even uh, like, to me, Jason is a young guy's name. Like a yeah, kid's name. totally. I have, when I meet an old you guy, see Jason that guy's weird. Weird. it's like Bill or uh, Bud. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that's like uh, American. I think Wilford is an older gentleman's Wilford, name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a distinguished sort of name. I couldn't picture a little Are Barry. Like little girl babies named Esther. Yeah. <laughs> Wasted. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, you're those, those just a are, baby with an old lady name. Or those are, those are like distinguished sort of, or you know, older female names. So you could list so many like Agatha. Like, could you imagine if you had a baby yeah, named Karen? Oh, exactly. no. Yeah. yeah, all of his middle name is Agatha. Yeah, and I'm just like, oh wait, Christy knows the Karen. Christy, please share this video with Karen and ask her to comment to prove that she's not a douche. <laughs> and, and then how does she spell her name? <laughs> she said Karen, K A R E N. Okay, any Karens out there, if you're watching, let us know how you feel about this whole situation. Right? We should do a whole thing and reach out to the Karen community. Yeah, like, <laughs> we want to know what the good Karens feel like. What, the, what are they, what, how do they feel about all these We crazy don't want to know what they feel like. <laughs> how, how do they Because feel then they're going to ask to speak to the manager. I don't want to yeah. touch it. All right, for, for the record, I'm oh. the manager here. Do you want to talk to me? You better be nice to me. I'll talk to you. <laughs> talk to me, talk to me, talk was, to me, baby. I don't tend to be the, man or the manager. I deal with them a lot. <laughs> Squishy. Yeah. So what would be like the male equivalent of a Karen? What, what would that name be called? I never really figured some, that out. Some people were saying like it's like Kenneth. Kyle or it's 
Oh, it's, no, Kyle's it's too new. I've never referred to a Kyle. They always, it's always a, like a, the, like a, the guy that drinks the monsters and he yeah. drives big and punches trucks the and drivewall. Stuff. The yeah. dry, drivewall. Oh, drive yeah. With the stupid like hat. A white wife beater has like a ball cap on backwards and like. Mm-hmm. Monster know, stickers everywhere. What, what, okay. Monster stickers, an off-road truck. <laughs> All right, viewers, what is the male equivalent of a Karen? What is the Let name? Yeah, the name. The name. Give us the name. The male equivalent Richard? of a Karen. <laughs> oh, Dick. Well, Richard or Dick, yes. <laughs> Dick. We, should, we, should, we should start that as a trend. We should just <laughs> call them Richards. Megan said Richard. Megan says Tim. I don't think Tim. I knew a nice guy named Tim. Tim. She's asking. She's suggesting. Maybe Tim. No, there was an exclamation point because she's like, Tim? There's like a, a in there, too. <laughs> I like Richard because then like, you could I like totally Richard. call them Dick or you could call them Dick. Yeah. And not be Happy to Richard. He agrees, Richard. <laughs> okay. Yeah, All in so. favor, viewers, say aye. <laughs> aye. All right, viewers, blink twice if you're in agree. If you agree with us here, <laughs> Share let me take another six. Yeah, Megan says Dick, but that's like Richard. I don't know. Dick. She said I'm going for Dick. Maybe she's actually going for Dick. No. She's no, like, she's got some Dick. She she has two beautiful sons. That's my sister-in-law right there. Well, <laughs> you still go for Dick though. Oh, she does. I'm sure she gets plenty of her little. Uh, English. <laughs> her husband is from across the I, I pond. Get a shirt that says, you know, executive producer Dick Wolf. <laughs> I dig <water>. it. <laughs> jum, jum. <laughs> she like that. All right, so we got we got two hands up so far. For yep. Dick. Hey, I count, fucker, Dick. <laughs> Three, Three hands. Raise my hand. You guys, I have to ask you, please share this live feed. We would love to have more viewers input. Yes. So if you can. You get to see what's tattooed on Dust yes. Belly. We want to yeah. Oh, shared. do it. Sure I shared it at least five, five times. I count. Don't do it. You don't count, sir. <laughs> oh, I do. One, two, three, four, five. Stop trying to make Sarah count. <laughs> I'm bringing it back. Okay, so what we did while you were out, I don't know if you saw, but we voted. And the male equivalent of a Karen is uh, Richard Dick. I have to agree. Right? So, I'm sorry to any Richards I know out there. Uh, sorry. I don't know any Richards. I, I know, know like, my grandpa's name. I know a Richard, and he's super fucking cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. I, I do too, but he goes... Never well, I mean, maybe he's there's cool Karens. person on the planet, but he'll get, he'll get the right steak if you fuck it up. <laughs> Every Richard I've ever met. And discounts, discounts, and <laughs> cards. The well, that's the point. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know Richard. I know a few Richard cool Richards. <laughs> if you guys know a Richard and a Karen who are married, please, for the love of God, let us know that you know Richard and a Karen that are married. I bet it's a blissful, blissful Whoa. match. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Okay, viewers, do you know any that? Richards that are dicks? <laughs> or not dicks. Maybe they're like just they're Richards. Really cool. Yeah, do you know any cool Richards? I know a cool Richard. <laughs> I know a cool Karen. But you have to call them cool yeah. Richard because otherwise it's yeah. implied that they're a dick. Did she right. die? Or rich. Richie. No, I just don't know her. Now. Richie, uh -oh. Richie Valens. Richie Valens is <laughs> cool. Did yeah. she die? Oh, he was actually. Oh, he was like, I did. Ricardo. No. R. I. P. Ricardo Valenzuela. Or Ricardo Valenzuela. Or they were going to call him Dick. Ricky Zuela. That's what they almost called him. Ricky Zuela. They should have called him Ricky Zuela. Yeah. Uh, Makes more Ricky, sense. Ricky what are we Valens. even doing now? I don't what know. are we doing? What are we doing? How, how the fuck are you? Oh, oh yeah. That's right. <laughs> I was trying to get to that, but. Our half hour you have to poop. It's okay. <laughs> well, it's a normal this introduction. Bodily in comparison to it's, it's in great. comparison to our last week's show, yeah, the uh, shit show. A thirty a thirty minute introduction is pretty pretty good. Well, yeah. did, did we, we got a cool Richard. Didn't I by play the, the theme music at the end of the show? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, did you? All right. Edit it in later. I felt like I could have been so drunk I would have been randomly hitting the theme music. <laughs> 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 like, well, like it was like halfway through, and I'm like, "This is posted on your page. It is. <laughs> no one's going to see this. You have, you who, who have five the... friends, and all of them. <laughs> <laughs> you have five yeah, friends. Funny. I got you 180 friends fuck. on Facebook. 175 of them don't talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, how the fuck are you? Who, who wants to hear the left a good theme music right now? <laughs> Okay, how are you? Let's go around the table. Uh, all right. All right. Now let's go, Neil. Mr. All right. Young Neil. Neil. Yeah. Young Neil. Yeah. How are you? I am pretty, pretty good. 
yeah, I, I like changing my nickname quite a bit. <laughs> I do too. It's I, cool. I Keeping like, it fresh. Right. Darn it. Coming up with young Neil Morgan. I got to fix that. But I've been pretty great. <laughs> you belong as a Morgan. Yeah. Well, young Neil Morgan. Morgan. Uh, I like it. That should be your hip hop name, Neil. One of, right. the, one of the hotels here misspelled my last name as Morgan. So, um, Kitimat wants me to be a Morgan. Well, we're here. <laughs> so, just be one. But why don't you just move here already? Just do it. Do it. Been pretty fantastic. Get your ass to get about. Good week. Oh my ass. Neil has his uh, own uh, room uh, here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you do have your own bedroom. You got posters up and shit. Might as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna put a lava lamp in there for you. He's got like a. It's all who's here? Harry Potter pillow. I have a Harry Potter switch play we can put on in there. Nice. Boom, 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 wow. We get some. Best behave, bitch. Oh, we put those little uh, glow in the dark stars on the ceiling, right? Okay, oh. Then they fall down in the middle of the night. And you're like, oh my god. I should, bring, I should bring my Game of Thrones um, banners because, like, I don't use them anymore. Dude, you I got have, banners? Hell yeah. I, I want Game of Thrones I'm up in here. banners. I have a Night's Watch banner you have house and a sigils? Stark banner. Nice. So I took Who would you be, them. Neil, if you were one of those house sigils? Yeah. I personally would say, and it's just because of my cultural clan as a wolf, I would say Stark. Mm-hmm, right. Stark. I also. So good. Feel yeah. personality wise, I would probably be closer to a Targaryen. Mm. Maybe. <laughs> but uh, are yeah, you batshit crazy too? There, yeah. what, what would your houses be, folks, out there in the world? What would your yeah. Yeah, okay, Game, of, Game of Thrones? Chris is what late question? night voice. What would it be? <laughs> yeah, what would it be? Does he get all all late night voice on you sometimes, Shante? No. <laughs> So you I, should spice it up a little bit. What did you do while you're banging, man? Just get ready. <laughs> like Bitch, I almost inhaled a popcorn for you. I'm going downtown. Whoa. 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 That was kind of nice. All right. We just had a moment. People. Tell you. Wow. We so, bonded, so bitches. I had, these, <laughs> I, I, I had these banners taken down because I recently ordered some po- movie posters since, you know, with the lockdown and everything, we can't actually go out and shop, so we just shop from home. <laughs> and I've been buying movie posters, so nice, I'm like, dude. I need a bit of a change. So I got a um, uh, 1980s the thing poster because it's nice. one of my favorite horror movies. Yeah. And uh, I I also picked up a uh, Rogue One. I kind of nice. wanted to go for killer the la- or the Force Awakens, killer. but I feel like yeah, no filler. Rogue One doesn't get it. Not enough love. I like Force so that's Awakens. what I've been up to. <laughs> nice. nice. All right. You ever get no you ever get your posters Same. mounted? You get them mounted, friend? No. Oh, I, I, I used to now. do that with somebody. <laughs> I'll match you. I did that with with a previous partner, and it was just kind of a Your hassle. <laughs> yeah. Finding, Sometimes I guess so. Eh? Finding the frames to 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 fit it. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's a pain in the ass. That is true. Sometimes you get lazy lucky. to go. Amazon. <laughs> right. And I'm just like, fuck it. I just buy those cheap frames. You know, everything's the... pinned to the wall. Like I'm a yeah. fucking bachelor. Dude, just get the get the one with the <laughs> plastic. Shantae, if you need <laughs> clear pins, I have plenty. <laughs> Girl, if you ever need to fasten two two or more pieces of paper together, I have a whole box of paper clips in my purse. Oh my god, you're only two thousand miles away. I got Make your book. <laughs> hey, fuck you guys. Can we just talk about it like for ten seconds? Yeah. Oh wait, I'll save that for you my how am I? And there then go. let's go. It's your turn. How the f are you, Sarah? Oh. <laughs> f are you? I suck. Okay, so for most of like two of our listeners, I was supposed to go to fucking well. Canada. And have a bomb ass vacation and go okay, so camping in the happening? actual wilderness. The situation. The field of listeners. What's the happening this here. week then? Oh, uh, so I was supposed. I had. Fuck it. Okay, Reader's Digest version. I had booked two flights, specifically to fly out from LAX on the twenty fifth, which is like a day away. Mm-hmm. You're only a day away. Anyway, uh, I thought I was cool with a passport card. Turns out I was not. Cool. I am not cool. Um, I need a book or a Nexus pass. I had never fucking heard of a Nexus pass in my life until like I did some Googleage. Apparently, it's like an expedited um, passport book, but the only thing is, is everybody's like scared to work and stuff. So I submitted my application. I paid the fee. 
and now I'm just twiddling my thumbs. But I cannot leave in two days unless tomorrow, by some fucking miracle, they're like, hey, come to L.A. and, like, do an interview in, like, two hours. I'd be like, okay, let's go. and probably wouldn't make it. But anyway, I'd be there and get it that day. Not going to happen, so I'm just going to try to call these asshole vultures of these flight lines. Oh, my God. God, if you guys have any fucking stories about how you got raped by airlines, please, God, let us know. That would be hilarious. But they, they, they raped me. They took my butt virginity for sure. Hey. (laughs) (laughs) No, they did. I felt it. I couldn't sit down for a week. But they're like, oh, we'll give you, like, travel vouchers. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, so I can use it with your airline only, Air Canada. And they're like, yes. And I was like, uh, how good is that? How long is that good for? They're like, it never expires. And I'm like, okay, so is it a voucher for a plane ticket or just what I paid? And they're like, just what you paid. Let me tell you, folks. Right now, it's dirt cheap to fly, which is why I bought the ticket. Mm-hmm. It was like 100 bucks for one of them. So, you know, I'm going to pay $100 and get, like, a fucking free coupon for the next passage to Canada. My plan B was to fly into Washington, rent a motherfucking car, drive over the border, get on another plane in Vancouver, and fly all the way out there. But that means that I have to buy a hotel, I have to buy another plane ticket to Washington, I have to buy another plane ticket to fucking Vancouver, and then whatever to Terrace, like, in a car. So plane yeah, that's... And automobiles. Absolutely. Son of a bitch. So I, it's looking like I am not going to Canada, and so that really fucking hammered in my week um actually so i've been painting a little bit and i haven't painted in a long time so that's been kind of therapeutic you showed me your painting it was pretty amazing it's coming along really great so far yes yes it is i'll have to show you guys when i'm done but um i normally don't paint in oils because oils take a long time to dry and they blend like a motherfucker they're very hard to keep separate Um, like if you want something that's just red and you paint something blue next to it, that son of a bitch is going to be purple. Um, so I went to Hobby Lobby today. I don't know if you guys have a Hobby Lobby and, oh, you need one because I bought this paint set, this oil paint set, this one right here, cause I'm in my art thing. This is, huh? Did they start their closing out cell? I, there's nothing that says anything about that, dude. Hmm. But they need to because I'm going to go fucking take everything from them. They're supposed to be closing down like 300 stores. Yeah, but I doubt that's going to be ours. I don't think California will get hit because people, like, there's Michael's, Joanne's, and Hobby Lobby. That's all we got. Hobby Lobby has everything. Oh, my God. The first time I went in there, we were in there for two hours and didn't even realize we were there for two hours. Girl, I went there for two things today, and I ended up finding all kinds of shit. Oh, my God. It's amazing. (laughs) That's like, like, crap. like if you see this shit, like I have art shit for days. Let me tell you, I'm. It's crap. That's why. It's ridiculous. I made friends too. Old yeah. well, no, guys, paint and do crafty shit. Whatever, dude. I talked to old ladies there. <laughs> yeah, I talked to like three today. They want to hear some, uh, some weird news. Yes. After, after, yeah. we're not yes. done quite saying how we're doing here. But I got some news here for you guys. All right. Sarah, are you doing better? You're settled with the whole idea that you're not coming yet? No, I'm not. It hasn't hit me yet. I'll probably cry on the day that I'm supposed to go out. But anyway, go ahead, Malcolm. You know what? Even though the country is like still shut down and whatnot, we're going to get around to this. Definitely. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Not everybody got to go across the border their first try, right? (laughs) I'm sure Christopher I'm leave Columbus' it alone. boat sunk when he first left his shore. You know? That motherfucker was trying to, like, steal some shit. I'm just trying to go visit some homies. Like, that's fucked up. Oh, wait. Sorry. I'm trying to take a bakery class. For those of you that know that you can only travel essentially, Christopher has invited me to take an amazing baking beginners class with our very own Shante Morgan. I don't know which way she is. So I got, like, the super special email that I was going to print out and be like, look, I'm going for training because apparently training in Canada is like the thing. But, you know, well, when you're border patrol. A two-week intro class to basics, yeah. It is a thing. Uh, beautiful. It's a thing that you should partake in. Listen you're going to be like, well, you can do it on Zoom now. No, you can't. <laughs> Zoom class? Yes, I can't. You're right, I cannot. 
You cannot. Well, you, you, might, well, you might as well go and you might as well watch YouTube then. You can watch the Num Nums videos every second Friday, but you will not be certified. That's See, that's true because you can't taste my shit and make sure it doesn't taste like cement. That's right. You never watched the Urban Cousin. I, I, I said semen. Oh, I thought I heard <laughs> semen. Yeah, that too. Maybe too much salt. Too much Not mine. salt. Mine, mine ain't salty. Mine's salt. sweet. Oh my god. Okay, one little quick side note. I took economics, like a baking, whatever the fuck class. Home economics? Yeah. And it was the first time. I don't remember how old I was, like 12. And it was the first time I ever baked cookies. So when it said one tisp, so like a teaspoon... I thought it was tablespoon. Yeah, I thought it was tablespoon, and needless to say, those cookies were salty as fuck, just like I am today. <laughs> what is this? Nice. One, one cup? One cup of salt? Right. Yeah. Don't worry, I've done <laughs> that before too. I ruined it. Yeah, but you're like a dude, and you make like cheese. Cheese oh, is okay. salty. You're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done. Go ahead, Mick Campbell. All what right. What are you saying? All right. Next. Next, <laughs> I don't have a life. You guys go. Oh, I'm just tired. You guys are doing cool shit. I'm not <laughs> doing. Oh. I fell down. You the guys stairs. are doing Maybe stuff. Why? Why are you tired? There you <laughs> go. What's been going on? Shit, yeah. Tell us. We need to know. Like, so we're almost done with our grad season. So we've been doing grad orders for a week. And when I say grad orders, it's grad packages. So each person who orders gets a cake and two dozen cupcakes. And we've done about 20 of those. Mm. And this past weekend was like the big weekend. And we were just like, it's nonstop. And then today we had 480 cupcakes go out, which there were like 86 packs that got individually packaged and iced and all that. Yes. And delivered them. And then there's a regular order. So we have regular order cake orders that go to birthdays and baby showers, whatever. And then our food truck order every morning. So like every day we're pounding stuff out. Oh. Every day we wake up and get it out every day. That means Do you ever get tired of baking? Yes, my my life. Life. Um, fucking bakery. What's the thing is too is like, we get to this point, like right now I'm just like you know, I'm tired. But we get to this point and um yeah, we're tired and stuff, but then we drop things off and then you get the end result. So you get yeah. the new messages and send us pictures and send us all these things. And then so your heart is filled with joy and love and you're so grateful. And then you go at it again, you go at it again and you go at it again. And that's like, that's how it is. We got a thank you note from the hospital from our town this past week because every Thursday, the food truck that we participate with, um, they donate to a charity. And they donated funds from the last Thursday to the Kitimat General Hospital Foundation. Way cool. And so we got a thank you note from the hospital because of that. <clears throat> so like I said, Aww. you get like this and it's like a rough patch where you're just like, Jesus Christ, I can't go. If I don't wake up and like I don't finish the order, they're going to be mad. Can I cancel? Like it's just like getting up and going to work. You're just like, do I want a job? <laughs> There's still <laughs> times where I'm like, I don't even this. need this shit. Wait, it's get up and <sighs> But you know, it's it's good. It's house. good for our business. <laughs> obviously, <laughs> fuck them kids. Happy people food. saying thank you. They're cute. Them and good tasting our stuff yeah, is. And so we get like this where I'm just like, I can't even right now. I just want to go to bed. Dude, that's another thing. I was gonna get a cinnamon bun. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah is just like looking forward. Oh my gosh, and my cookies. I got to make white chocolate Matt Damien cookies this week. I don't like Fine white cake. chocolate. Okay. Oh but do you God. like macadamia nuts? Oh well, yeah. White. Can we do like regular chocolate or dark chocolate? Because I'm down. Yeah, of course. We can make anything you want. Oh wait, I'm not fucking cooking! Oh. Insert joke about Malcolm being white chocolate here. Like <laughs> 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 But what about Malcolm? <laughs> right? Um, total Let me guess. All three of you guys, of you men folk, like white chocolate. I love white chocolate. It's I a man thing. It. It's, I, it's my like, favorite. Chris don't doesn't care. care. He doesn't like sweets. Because he's when a baker. I was, when I was working at, uh, at the lodge. He's of... never really been into it. <laughs> Are you like a salty man? So That's not true. Not you salty, totally eat savory. candy like a weirdo. Mm -hmm. I'm a tart motherfucker. Yeah, you so. like sweet and sour things. You like them little tarts? <laughs> to Sarah. <laughs> She's just having her the whole time. Can I gotta be my own fucking entertainment because America is not fun right now. <laughs> uh, 
when has talking it been? about your own Cheeto This is why we forced Sarah to be in a podcast and we make her sit in a closet and talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus, oh, that was dude, loud. Episode, we're all going to Zoom from our own closets. <laughs> Lovey, lovey, Lord. You guys are so funny. This is like my little studio. Look, I mean, look at this. Solitude. The organization yeah. in this bitch alone. <laughs> Well, I mean, we could be like the priest, and you're in like the confessional Ooh, booth, confession booth. and your computer is like the this window where you open. Do that, yeah. If this was a confessional, you guys would be here for a long time. Well, say some Hail Marys, bitch, and drink it. Hail Mary, put You'll be vodka, fine. something, something, Just something. Praise something, Jesus. Something. All right, any of the viewers in the chat, can you let us know how many shares there are on this video so far? Mm. We can't see. Well, there's five motherfucking people watching, so I doubt there's that. Oh, four, sorry. <laughs> there are four now? Oh, we chased them all away. Uh, no. I don't know how to t how we to got, check. We got, we got less. I mean, I keep sharing into yeah. groups and stuff. <laughs> anyway, fuck the viewers. They can watch your shit later on. Oh, Moving oh, we on. Have we have five. All right, five. Uh, now, now we're gonna go back to four because they're gonna. We have <laughs> wait, wait, you guys. We have thirteen oh, viewers, shares. Viewers. Chris, show oh, us your belly right there. Shares? How many shares? Thirteen shares. Chris has to show us Tom. Tristan made ten fake accounts in each share. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just saw him share. I was like, sweet, good man, good man. <laughs> good man, good on you, Tristan. Good on you, mate. All right, well, I'll oh. get to that. At the end of the show, yeah. Remind Duff to show us his tummy. <laughs> I will. <laughs> of course, you will. <laughs> so, um, were you ta were you ta ta talking to us about how you were? Me? Yeah. No, I hadn't talked about how I was. <laughs> no. Well, how the fuck are you? How are you, Chris? How's your neck? Oh, my neck is my neck. It is itchy. <laughs> Peeling. Oh, oh, so why is she yeah. talking about your neck? Um, because I have a new tattoo. Oh, you did, did you? New tattoo. Shantae, did you I set us ink yet? <laughs> this is, this is the reason. This is the reason why I don't have a beard anymore. <laughs> I know it's weird. It takes some getting used to. Look at that death moth, y'all! Right up in there, man. Right up, all up in there. Not you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking, it's looking good for the right side. Get out of there, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good for her. only one side I could see. <laughs> Ooh, look at that lint. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so that's that's itchy and annoying at the point where it's annoying because of that point. Um, Props to all of her divining tattoos. Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag. No. Like Pay us for much love to that brother. He did a really good job. Mm -hmm. Um, I anticipated to be a lot more fucking painful than it was. I'm not saying really it was fucking painful. Um, there are certain points that were more painful than others, uh, like towards the Adam's apple that fucking sucked a lot of fat donkey dick. <laughs> uh, you mean the Chris's apple? Uh, uh, friends joke, friends joke, <laughs> <laughs> and then. Uh, towards the top, like like underneath the chin, that kind of sucked. It kind of felt like somebody was trying to rip my throat open. But yes, he was. Other than that, he was okay. I, 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 I mean, I went live, and I thought I was going to look like a little bitch, but apparently I didn't. I guess I didn't. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It was, it was fun. I got to go back. It looks awesome. I gotta go back again and I'm gonna get it with color. Thank you. Get it touched up. No, I'm just gonna get color filled in. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, we get some color it's gonna filled in. It's gonna be a bomb. And then, I don't know. I, I feel like the therapy needs more. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of like it's kind of like once you get one tattoo, you just wanna just fucking dive in and get, get more. more. You yeah. wouldn't you know. The whole addiction thing, and then you get hooked on it. You wanna get more and more and more. Yes. And then you stop. And then for a while. it's like it's years in between, and you're like, fuck, I forgot how bad that hurt. Like, it's I was supposed that. to be. I was supposed to be the first customer for Divine Inc. when when they opened, but it, uh, it didn't work out. And then I was supposed to go on the sixteenth, and then I just told him, "Hey, bro, just put me at the back of the line. There's people out there that really want to get tattoos, and I'm not in a rush." 
Oh, wow, look at you. And your besties. So Chival you said chivalry's dead. <laughs> Not I, Rabbi. <laughs> All right, here we go. You're going to see my belly. Oh, right. here comes Ooh. belly tattoo. Let me share it again. Wait. <laughs> Drum roll. What does that say? Douchebag? Life. <laughs> <laughs> West side. So can I ask, this is part of my segment then, what the fuck were you thinking? <laughs> you got douchebag life tattooed on your tum-tum? Uh, I want to be gangster. Yeah. Well, you mean you could got like gangster life tattooed on you? But I'm not gangster. Yeah. That's what you get when you want to be a gangster. That's right. But you're not a douchebag either. I got 31 on my neck. I didn't get 13. Why? <laughs> <laughs> <Goodbye. laughs> Were you 31? I mean, it's just, I, 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 it was, it's, it's contradictory. It's me. having a sense of humor, man. Yeah. When, oh, because you you're the best me? bag and you're not a douchebag. When you first showed me it, I got a kick out. I loved it, man. Yeah. It's, 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 it's that sense of humor. Yeah. It's definitely a conversational piece. <laughs> everybody is so serious about their tattoos all the time. Why not have fun with it? <laughs> Steve-O. Yeah. Steve-O had love. I'm very yeah. serious about I'm one of those fucking people that's like, it has to have meaning. <laughs> well, yeah, it, it does, does have meaning. Well, I mean, it's, it, it's, it, it totally has meaning. Yeah. All right. It has meaning to me. All right. When I'm going to be fucking 70 years old and I look at my fucking body, which is a piece of shit, <laughs> I'm going to look at this body and I'm going to see this fucking tattoo that goes across my fucking stomach. I'm mean, like, I had a really good <laughs> fucking life. I had a really great life. That was life. a good day. Somebody's grandpa <laughs> is going to have douchebag life on their tum tum. Yeah. You, you remember the day. And then somebody's tattoos. fucking grandparents are going to be fucking Trump. Yeah. Like, who the fuck cares? Yeah. Ooh. Did you say Shots fired. Parents are gonna be Shots fired. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking, some motherfucker voted for Trump. Your fucking grandparents did. Yeah. Well, your great grandparents did. Yeah. Uh, not in my family. You gotta actually, look at life as, you gotta look at life as as, as, as not so serious. Well, that's because, because, because you got you got the douchebag life tattoo. You yeah. voted for Trump. Hey, hey, yeah, voted for Trump is way way worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Douchebag tattoo is the shit. Okay, it's, it's, it's only lesser of two evils. Voting is killing America. Tattoos on them. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. Well, I got a tattoo on my butt. Some people have. You have a tattoo on life. your butt. Where? Did it say grade A B? You got your butt on your body somewhere else, or is it? Wait a minute, Shante. Yeah. What did you just say? You, <laughs> just, you got a tattoo of your butt. On I'm your like, butt. where? On, on my butt. Oh, you got a tattoo oh. of your butt on your butt. That's dope. Yeah. See, now Peaches. that's I like dope. that. See? See okay. Now that's, that's funny. All right, viewers. 20 more shares, and Sarah will show you the tattoo. <laughs> I will show my ass. <laughs> all of a sudden, you hear all the coins. <laughs> ting, ting, yeah. ting. What, what is that? It's a camera. It's a, yeah. So, what is it called? It was like, like chatterbait or something like that. Tokens? Like, yeah. Is it called something? What? When the Are girls, like, when the girls credit, like posing and oh, she does something like spread eagle yeah. and all of a sudden it's like ching 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 ching. Yeah. Yeah. I nobody said anything about spreading eagle or spreading anything else. It was just well, butchery. If you were a cam girl, you would want people to give you money so you could show more goods. Hey, this isn't fans only. Payday's not so Friday. It's Ooh, called OnlyFans. Neil! Neil, you horny bastard! <laughs> no, I've heard of OnlyFans. So, well, all right. loop, I'm going gonna, gonna to finish my how the fuck are you. Okay. I mean, she said everything that she needed to say as far as our business goes. Yeah. Um, which is fucking killing it right now. Uh, 2020 is our goddamn fucking. We weren't kidding when we said we're uh, taking over, man. Yeah, man. We're taking over. Bullshit. Divine Inc. Num nums. F this. Take we're taking over. over this year. That's right. Uh, <laughs> Here yeah. I am in America with uh, no cinnamon buns. <laughs> you better mail this girl some cinnamon buns, man. So it wouldn't be good so if they got there. Drop some dry ice in the box or something. Considering, <laughs> considering how long it takes for it's like. Wait a minute, Malcolm. Oh, if right. she dropped dry ice in a box, the son of a bitch would smoke. And I think in the times right now, a smoking package is really not what we need. No way, dude. RCMP would be at our door. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't even and go the out of taking forever. My mom sent mass that she made oh, us like oh, over a month ago. 
I wow. had a package that I ordered over a month ago, too, and it hasn't come yet. We have a Dude, whole we bunch of packages. We just had chonies that we ordered two months ago arrive From today. Chonies? Wow. Oh, yeah. okay, oh, my God. I remember that first episode I did with you guys. <laughs> Yeah, those robot ones, they finally, we got them today. Wow. Aww. Robot chonies. The Mine's bad. only coming from Vancouver, though. Yeah, that's a little weird. <laughs> I don't know. That's why I was like, don't send anything for Pollux. My friend yeah, said that. Don't, 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 don't mail shit right now, folks. Is pretty fucking back. Don't mail shit. If you've been Remember when SARS was the problem? Was the problem? It's been coming in like crazy, then you're just getting spoiled, man. Because you start ordering shit from regular Canada Post, you're not going to see it until Christmas. Right? Yeah. So right. start ordering shit for Christmas right now. Right? Oh, God. God. Our order Fuck stuff for Christmas from Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just cancel Christmas this year? Please? Can we We could do the dinner thing. Yeah, let's just do that. Did we just lose, lose Sarah? Yeah. Well, I, hold on. I had to... <laughs> I'm not oh. wearing pants. <laughs> I have oh, to get more alcohol. Up. Okay. Oh, did we get 20 shares already? Oh my god! No, I mean, I am wearing like some form of pants. I am but wearing some like, pants. Some sort of. It's pajama pants. And I was Look like, the they can see this part of me. You're lucky I did my eyebrows, okay? Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Malcolm, how the <laughs> fuck are you? Yeah, man. I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> What's the Good next all the part? Time. All right. Good all the time. Dude, I, I fell down the stairs the yesterday. Good to the last what the one. fuck, dude? <laughs> so I went to the bathroom yesterday and then I, I came to. Oh, congratulations. Guys. You're regular. Oh, man. I, 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 sometimes sometimes you go and you just can't. You, know, you see the shit or get off the box. You need a okay. stool softener. No, no, I don't have that problem. My stool is just right. <laughs> it's a right consistent. Wait, are we talking about my poo here or what happened afterwards? So are you like, wait, Goldilocks pooing right now? <laughs> what are you even? What? <laughs> what the fuck is a Goldilocks? Poo? Goldilocks. Well, you know, it's not too hard or too soft, not too hot it's or too right? cold. Okay. Goldilocks. <laughs> <laughs> I like oh, that. Gotcha. Good I made a thing, you guys. Shut up and laugh. It's funny. Oh, she's being funny, guys. Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry, I drank a little. Encouragement. Yay! Watching that. What's it called? The marriage counseling movie with. Van der Lust. You and Crystal need marriage counseling. You guys are like the most perfect couple ever. Oh, couples retreat, and then the the yoga guy's like encouragement. Encouragement. And so now, like every time someone says encouragement, I'm like. This is that yoga guy. Uh, Have you guys seen Blended Families? I was like, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. We don't have the perfect, the perfect relationship. We just happen to be best friends, so we can rock it out. That counts because the other day I was on the phone with you guys, and out of nowhere, Chris just says, "Hey, I love you," and I was like, "Oh." We always say love you no matter what. You get a certain degree of dysfunction, and it works. But that's the best part: is the dysfunctional bullshit. That's hey, the best part of any relationship, friendship, family. <clears throat> no, because there's some degree of relationship where it just crumbles apart, and it's just the dysfunction is just, no, you're wrong. or the functional Thank aspect you. is there. You're everything else here. is gone. I'm, I'm talking about <laughs> fun dysfunction. You're like getting all morose and shit. Come on, Nancy. <laughs> this is fucking podcast central. This is mid. Well, I, mean, I don't know. You sometimes you start here. relationships I want to where myself. like everything's amazing. I love them. Blah, blah, blah. No, I'm yeah. just gonna. Drink and then you're more. just like. I don't even. I know don't. You. I don't like oh, this person. I don't even fucking even know you. Like, I care about that person. I don't wish any harm on this person, but I, I don't. Even know I don't you. like this person. I don't even know Why you. am I with this person? Like, sometimes, I don't even know you. sometimes when we're laying in bed together and he's sleeping, sometimes I put my fucking hand over his mouth and try to suffocate him just enough. Because he snores so snore. fucking loud. <laughs> Sorry, did that no. get too? I don't quite kill him. I just just till he stops breathing and then I stop. Um, I always wondered why I woke up at four in the morning. Every <laughs> you morning. wake up thrashing. <laughs> That's an angelic time. Okay, sweetie, you had a bad night. Just really, she was she, part, she was like, like those old school crazy. movies where she's just like, "Oh, are you okay?" <laughs> 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 the little joys in life when you almost kill your husband, <laughs> but you don't quite. <laughs> those little I had joys. a nightmare. I couldn't breathe. <laughs> Okay, and then I really back. couldn't breathe. There was a demon on your chest, honey. I got it up. Then you, then you finally get to sleep again and use the pillow this time. 
I woke up and you were on my face. Sorry, honey. I just, I was scared. I don't know what happened. I was just kissing you goodnight. That's all. <laughs> With my whole well, body. Like sucking the breath out of me. <laughs> we were talking about this. Are though, you a where, death eater? Where some people say, <laughs> what do they say? You're lucky. Yeah. You're lucky because you get to work with her and be with her all the time. Was that, when, what is that like? Never getting a break lucky, from each you're, other. You're lucky to to, to be not, together this long because you guys work together and live together. It's it's not lucky. It's, she, she's my best friend. So I just I, think like just, it's not it's not lucky. It's this that like you should be with somebody that you want to be around. Wow. Yeah. We spend time, like we've been, uh, we've been together for a long time and we've spent like six months, nine months of the year apart from each yeah. other. I remember that. So I feel like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I think we did it. We, we did. We've our done all and, the things right where we, he goes we, to work all day and I'm home taking care of the kids and doing yeah. stuff. And then vice versa. We've done all the different things. Yeah. And I don't, I, that's why I always tell everybody like we are unhealthily codependent on each other. <laughs> <laughs> because like we work together, we live together, all right. And then so when uh, we're not together for an extended amount of time, we're like super like, what are you doing? How's it going? The pictures and love and uh, like disgusting, disgusting, <laughs> oh, so disgusting. And I'm just like, yeah, we're just like we're completely conditioned. Our code. Of Honest to God, dude, that's not like a bad thing. My oldest sister Stephanie, shout out. Um, and her husband have been married, fuck, 30 years-ish. Oh. They work together. They drive home together. They sleep together. They eat together. They do fucking laundry together. And then they wake up together and get ready together and drive to work together. For 30, fuck, okay, sorry, at very least, 20 years. That is like the epitome of a relationship if you do not have that codependence why the fuck are you even in a relationship yeah after actually last relationship <laughs> i was like um if i'm ever in a relationship again i i can't be with anybody who isn't at least a little obsessed with me i think the obsessed part is so important though uh, i just like i said She's my best friend. I'm not, I mean, sure, in the, in the whole scheme of things, we're lucky, mm -hmm. but I don't know. She's just my best friend. We don't feel like we're stuck with each other, so we're not like, oh, yeah. oh you're lucky. <laughs> I know Shantae would never admit it, but hearing Chris say that, is it fulfilling? Like, does it make it all worth it? I think. This, oh, yeah. Why would I admit that? This should be. Right? Goals. You're not a vagina, you I'm just not have one. made of stone, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me while I go sniffle. So I fell down the stairs yeah. after I used the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> the segue, that was classic. We were going to bring it up. Seriously, Chris, did he bounce? For those of you that are worried about me. He did. Like, no, it was. He scared the shit out of me last it wasn't, night. It wasn't, it wasn't a cute tumble down the stairs. Like, I fucking was, fell like, like a toddler. I did not try to recover. No, I did not try boom. to break my fall. Like I just crash. ran down. I honestly on my thought my kid fell down the stairs. Yeah. I ran <laughs> the kitchen into the A large <laughs> person. Is that Pollux? <laughs> I thought he Kermit the Frog down the fucking stairs. It scared the fuck out of me. And then Pollux, you Kermit the Frog. Wait, I need to. <laughs> no, I was fucking on my face, fucking jacked up my elbows, my, <laughs> my back, my neck, my shoulder, just everything mm -hmm. was fucked up this morning, and I couldn't move out of bed for at least a couple hours after I woke up. Sorry for laughing, but when you said you fell like a toddler. I did. I didn't even try to recover. Usually, I'm I actually crying. have a toddler that falls all the time. <laughs> well, they just go down like a sack of bricks. They don't try to. They don't try to. They, they don't try to put their hands out to stop. Logan them. catches himself all the time. He's like, "Holy fuck!" Yeah. So you went Wait. down like like not a toddler. <laughs> what? Like a newborn baby. You went down like someone threw you. Well, off hold on a second. Are you throwing your kids downstairs here? <laughs> no, but I have stairs. So they fall a lot. I went down the stairs the way Sarah throws her kids down the stairs. <laughs> you know what? They're better people for it, bitch. That's right. They're strong. <laughs> Owen fell Grand down the woman. stairs because oh, <laughs> no. he's always hauling ass. And I'm like, oh, and he's seven. Well, going to be seven. And I was like, dude, slow down. He's like, I got stuff to do, mom. If anybody knows me, you know that Owen is a character and a half. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait to see... I hate myself for saying this, but Pollux and Owen in the same room. That's going to be real exciting. And Olive <laughs> and Logan. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, and then Layla and Mason, sorry, this is all getting too personal listeners. <laughs> Layla and Mason have a past. So I fell down. Mason the has a little belly <laughs> friend. <there. laughs> all right, Malcolm, finish your fucking story. Yeah, hurry before I keep talking. Stairs. I didn't know oh, we were going to talk about like... it. Yeah, yeah. No, no well, there's nothing to talk about. I fell down the stairs. Down the stairs. Yeah. For the shirt. first time in a long fucking time, I fell down the stairs. And you know what's fucked about this whole situation is that every time I went up and down those goddamn stairs, I'm always thinking somebody's going to fucking fall down these goddamn who does it? stairs. Who does it? Every time I, I think about it. You need the foam. Get a pool fall. noodle and cut it in half and then just paste it to everything. Okay, well, since we're talking about people fucking falling, all right, we were in the park, which is just like right next door to us. <laughs> Pollux. <All right>. Pollux. <laughs> I hadn't oh. told Shantae about this yet, but <laughs> it's, it's it's happening now. So Pollux was, uh, he was like, Dad, I want to go swing. So I was like, all right, cool. So he went and did the whole, like, you know, lay across the swing on his stomach. And then, you know, you know, like do a, Why? Super, oh. do a Superman yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay. But he negated to... Hold on. <laughs> so he backed all the way up and then swung all the way forward <laughs> and then came back and did it again. But on the second time, he flew <laughs> out of the swing, <laughs> out of the swing like fucking Superman. <laughs> and then, poor boom. baby. <laughs> <laughs> and he like, he landed and he was like, <laughs> <laughs> and then he sat down and he looked at me and he was like, I didn't hold on. <laughs> <laughs> he like, knew where he fucked up. That's a smart kid. And he's like, I didn't hold on. And I was like, Oh, bro, I'm so sorry. He's like, Are you okay? He's like, Yeah, I'm okay. And he got up and he dusted himself off. And then he like looked at both his knees. He's like, Oh, my knees. And Good like, right. job. And You're like, damn right. He dusted himself off. <laughs> Little trooper. I bruised my kidney doing that shit as a kid. That shit's no joke. But then he he went and I was like, Dude, do it again. And he's like, All right, this time I'm gonna do it right. I'm going to hold on. <laughs> Good stuff. I love kids. Kids are probably like my favorite thing in the whole world. It was great. I love that. It's kid. like a lottery. You never know what you're going to get. So I fell down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> like a sack of taters. We got that out of the way. Okay. So, all right. Are gonna... you okay, Malcolm? Somebody's going to put that on a shirt. A couple so, pants I on. so I fell down the stairs. Oh my god, you guys, I can make shirts now. I'm going to. Do it. Do nice. it. I want to see those t-shirts. All right. So I think we should move on. Let's move on. Okay. Right. Right. Um, Sorry. Urban Word of the Day. Urban Word of the Day. Right. Okay. Are we going to do the Urban Word? Urban Word. Let's do it. Of the Day. Urban Pew. Word. That's right. That's right. Okay. All right, so the urban word of the day today is <laughs> squat plug. Oh, what? Oh. Squat plug. Okay, let's, okay, what's that mean? For the viewers who don't know what we're doing, urban word is uh, Duff grabs a, a word from Urban Dictionary. Yes. And he just says it. He says yes. a word, a term, and we got to try to guess what it is. That's right. So we'll go around the table. And then for you folks out there, if you are still sitting here and watching us, listening to us, whatever the fuck you're doing, uh, make a comment. Let us know what you think what squat plug is. If you need me to spell it out, I can spell it out for you. (laughs) I'm pretty sure we know how to spell it. If you need me to use it in a sentence, I can use a sentence for you. That might be a big giveaway. So I won't do that. Yeah, don't. Yeah. All right. So the word is squat. Plug. Squat plug. Yeah. Who has an idea? Right off the bat, sex toy. Sex toy? Yeah. Is this a sex toy? Mm-hmm. Like is a it really? Plug. Is it? Plug. Is it? A, is it? Or not even, it doesn't even have to be like a butt plug. It if we get it right, do you tell us? It's a female. Oh, I'm going to tell you anyways. But it's like a female on I like to hear your responses. Yeah. Rack your brains, people. Wait, what is it's, it? a, it's a dildo so big that you have to squat <laughs> I don't know. Or just a, nice. a dildo in general. Like, you could just be on your own. Just, on their own. Just plug in it? Like something with a suction cup. Exactly. Mm. Tile floor. I think it has something to do with plumbing. Oh, I like that. That's a good response. Something to do with plumbing. I'm going to go on sense? Family Feud. In what sense? <laughs> Jesus, I can't spell for fuck. <laughs> F-O-R-F-U-C-K. Okay. <laughs> <Spelling> squat. <laughs> Remember, you guys love me. 
Hey, before you. Are you Googling it, Malcolm? That's cheating. <laughs> Google this. All right, so you guys want to know? No, I'm not Googling it. I posted it in the chat. No, Malcolm didn't say yet. What, oh, I have to guess? No, so I, I, yes. I. What are you. I want you to lick it, you know? To yeah. lick it? Well, no, the plumbing situation. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why the plumbing situation? What sense? Use it in a sentence. Oh. Yeah. Um, Why would it be in plumbing? I wasn't able to get that elbow yep. joint lined up, so I had to use a squat plug. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Right? Go me. Two points for me. Timothy, <laughs> I need to like plug, plug up this leak here. Pass me the squat plug. Hey. See? That's still plumbing esque. Yeah. All right. All right. Malcolm? Any any ideas? I think that's like hey. uh, reverse cowgirl anal squat plug. <laughs> reverse cowgirl. That's very literal, but okay. Well, some, sometimes these are right on the nose type of things, so I'm just going. For okay, it. right on the nose. You guys, I'm uh, practicing well, my Canadian. How does right, it sound? Nose. Yeah. yeah. Most of the time, you guys are. Sometimes you're not. <laughs> so but you're all wrong. Uh -huh. All wrong. All very wrong. OMG, tell us. All right. So it has nothing to do with plumbing. Bunch of wrong ass motherfuckers. Has muffin, he said. It has muffin. To do, with, it's, to do it's with baking. It has nothing to do with baking. <laughs> has Monte, Mr. to do with sex. Oh, damn. Um, that's this a surprise. Surprise. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. So, yeah, I, I, when I first thought, I'm like, okay, okay, okay. It's going to be a little dirty. It's the Urban Dictionary. It's always a little fucking dirty. That's but it's nice. not. It's um, awesome. It's, it's uh, what lifters stick in their rectum when squatting or deadlifting to prevent them from clenching too hard. What? My mouth is open because I have a story. <laughs> yes, but not a sexual butt plug. Oh, okay. does it go? In? But it still goes in your anus. Yeah, but it's not sexual. Why? Why would it it's always still be sexual? It's, it's so does it feel nice when you're squatting? Maybe. Well, I guess you could still tell that to your mom or something. I don't know. There's you could not fucking, say, "Mom, I need a, a to cleanse my squat butt. plug." Is that a sexual thing? Some people. But yeah. But well, not everybody. Well, not if they everybody. take it out and put it back in again. What if you deadlift <laughs> you your wife with a stock plug in? Your fucking asshole? Is that fucking sexual? Uh, you that's Keystone to get over the board, you guys. You know, when you chug beer up your ass. I mean. Is that sexual? <laughs> no. No. You're not You're chugging it. There's yeah. no... <laughs> when Shante blows <laughs> cocaine into my asshole, is that sexual? No, well, I just want to get really high. after. Man, I could have had a cocaine asshole. I'm going to blow cocaine up your ass, and then I'm going to snort it out. <laughs> See, that's oh. fucked. Fuck Border Patrol. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you put the coke in the bag, then put it the up your butt. That was the best I'm mad. Can we talk about this some more Let's after talk the about show? <laughs> I have feelings, the, you guys. Urban word of the day. Okay. Urban word of the day. This podcast urban has been brought word. to you by the Urban Word of the Day. You guys, I, don't, I don't have any Shanteisms this week. Uh, yes, you do. Do I? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Does anybody else have any Shanteisms this week? But that's just weird shit, yeah? You're the only one who's capable of thinking of crazy shit like that. That's not true, because people tag me, and I do a hashtag Shanteism all the time. <laughs> Shante, sometimes, like back in the day, turkeys were worshipped like gods. Did you know that turkeys like to that. play with um, like soccer balls, like balls? If you that's have turkey armadillos, too, that's the cutest thing I've ever heard in my Yeah. Didn't know that. See? There you go. Interesting. You're welcome. There you go. You're welcome. Right. <laughs> oh, so this week I found there was a Facebook page, and it's a guinea pig like sanctuary. They have all these guinea <gasps> pigs. And then you could like go there and adopt guinea pigs. Oh, told you you had one. Just lingering. That's not weird. That's adorable. And it's weird, weird, but it's awesome. Like, 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 I had two guinea pigs, and they were the Little cutest fucking things pig. ever. And one had like crazy fucked up hair, and I named him Wally. And then there was Dexter. It took some. But time. I couldn't play with him enough because I have so many children. So I gave them to a very nice lady. Oh, and there was this thing where you can get this hanger that you put on top of your chicken, and the wire disappears in the feathers, so it looks like your chicken has arms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw That was the best. Oh, so the chickens arms. are walking around, and they look like they have these little buff muscle arms. 
That, was that, arms that reminds me of Toy Story. So yeah. That was pretty amazing. If uh, I had chickens, they would totally have pants and arms. arms. You can pants. put that on dogs too. Yeah, yeah you, you can get, get some of those. You can get um, chicken pants and chicken arms. That'd be nice. Wait, so pants for Wicket? Would it just cover his hind legs or like all four of them? <laughs> all four of them. <laughs> it goes up the. Excuse me. I will Wicked make Wicket pants. I make Wicket four leg pants. <laughs> four leg pants. No, that because then it'd be no, pants and fronts. Around his body. <laughs> yeah, but his, his, his front legs there, are still his legs. Yeah, you like those, um, still legs. What are the, no, those are his arms. The suspenders? So the suspenders would go across his back? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that, that would that's awesome. gay. It would look weird. His whole body. And then the, like, the belt loops are around his neck with the little belt buckle under his throat. But it's all made of denim. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got pockets on the butt. Yeah. Like, no, I disagree. <laughs> we gotta give him pockets. But you need to make a, a hole so the little tail can go black. <laughs> and you make an ID and put it in his wallet. Give him a little bit. You'll put some coins in. The you know what? My dog Brindle, who's a Dutch Shepherd, big as fuck, smart as hell, sweet as everything. Hey, Brindle. She's actually a Dutch Shepherd, and if you look at Dutch Shepherds, they are brindled oh. in color. That means like stripedy. Yeah. <laughs> what, Chris? Please let us know, duh. <laughs> just fucking around. So I fell down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Malcolm, that is now the title of this episode. <laughs> so I fell down the stairs. <laughs> let me take a segue. I okay. think it's my turn. I have three things to share with y'all. I looked them up last week, but we were too fucking hammered to even share anything. It, our listeners, if you did not watch last week's episode, please it. do that now and come back to this later. <laughs> anyway, Napoleon was once attacked by a horde of bunnies. The Napoleon? Bonaparte? Yes. Bonaparte? Bonaparte. Yes. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> now, let me, let me, I need to set the scene, y'all. Right. Apparently, this asshole was like, Sarah, fuck it. What? Set the scene, please. <laughs> I hate you, you stupid. <laughs> if I was there, I'd smack you. But gently. Right. Anyway. Gingerly. Ginger. Well, hey, I mean, my hair is kind of reddish. I have ADD, Malcolm. Stop it. Sorry. Anyway. <clears throat> so, Napoleon Malcolm was like. Down the stairs. <laughs> I didn't say it. Okay, come on. Out with it. Let's hear it. <laughs> that was rude. Napoleon I don't even like you right now. <laughs> and bunnies. Maybe. Napoleon got a cat. Yeah, yo, I want to go hunt for rabbits and shit. And they were like, okay. So they got them 3,000 rabbits. And they were like all these little cages. And then he was sitting there on his noble, very tall steed. And he was not very tall. And then they let him go. And then they just kind of attacked him. Because there were so many. Yeah, it was not good. What the fuck? <laughs> was this in the movie? What? No, this is real history, bitch. Like, what was he thinking? He was like, I'm going to get at least one of those motherfuckers. He was a horse, and they were attacking. He could have, like, ran, ran away. <laughs> yeah, giddy up, <laughs> motherfucker. Run away. No, if there was a horde of your people and some bitch was trying to kill you, hello, BLM movement. You fuck some people up, right? We're talking about bunnies. Yeah. Are we talking about people now? No, like, this what? is this is a swarm of people with common interests of human life. Stop it, I've been drinking. So the next one was the government literally poisoned alcohol during the prohibition. Did you guys know that? Yeah, yeah. I heard about it. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. You, you yeah. did? Yeah. Which is what led to people being bootleggers and having the speakeasies and stuff. Actually, I'm kind of looking forward to that shit coming around. That's kind of cool. It's just like with weed legalization. Government's poisoning the weed. <laughs> not not really. Like, it's weed. How do you poison it? I mean, you know, you can put no, some cocaine in there. You with a... Uh, weed killer. Hormone. Some <laughs> 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 fucking... Some of fucking... What's that shit called? I don't know what it is. My joke. Like that. Yeah. Okay, that is messed up. Fentanyl is jacked up. Like, that kills people. I heard that some people are putting it on, like, baby changing tables. That's not okay. 
Awesome. Some people are just fucked in the head. Now. Wait, what are they putting on changing tables? Fentanyl. Baby. Fentanyl. I like it. A little, little bit kills you and shit. I guess some of it gets you high. I'm not sure. Babies on baby. If if anything ever happened to my boys, I would go on a. I would be like Batman, just rogue. <laughs> Stop being you all know. married and shit. What was the vegetable they're using on the cookie show we watch oh. every night? No. no. <laughs> I don't know what's what going on it? here. I'm not sure either. I'm just gonna keep going. Fennel. 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 No, fennel's, fennel's no. weird. It doesn't really taste like grass. I was talking about. <laughs> and so I was thinking, because we've, we've been watching fennel. this fennel. show on Cookie on Food Network. And it's, uh, Shantae, and you can I ask you guys about that thing that's coming up? You know that thing? No. Okay. So no. then I have Captain Morgan actually existed. Did you all know that? Yes. You didn't. Yeah. Fuck you, Chris. I did. I didn't. Know. Act like you didn't. Dude, he looks like, he looks like, Chris he looks knows like more Captain about Hooker. history than most people. That looks like Captain Hook in a fucking bottle. That's that why has the same it. last name. Chris, can you do me a fucking favor and say no? no. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and then uh, Pop would be the fucking team. Captain Captain Morgan, yeah. Anyway! <laughs> so she fell down the stairs. <laughs> 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 but I have so much more padding than Malcolm. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> she just bounced like that. It don't matter when you fall Amy flat on your face. Deal, to... I think you're on to something, my good friend. I think I'm legit going to make fucking shirts that say, so I fell down the stairs. So I fell down the stairs. Make sure you put my monkey on there, too. <laughs> so you have to put it on the, the back, though, so then everyone oh. can see you. Yeah. It could, it could be irate eight. He's irate because he fell down the stairs. The stairs. <laughs> Oh, I you put go. your monkey on there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so everybody anyway, fuck, the monkey. listeners didn't know Christopher. Shut up. No. <laughs> he was a Welsh privateer who fought alongside the English. Yeah. Uh, English. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Are you dying? What's going on? Um, her her, her art supplies are trying she to kill her. <laughs> I hate you. This, remember when I told you I had like crazy fucking... Projector screens. Well, apparently there's a ghost in here that thinks I needed to know that. Anyway, I'm gonna put some fennel in there trying to get her. <laughs> this is gonna be like the dumpster episode of you guys. Uh, <laughs> I want to know. Oh, yeah. Well, Chris knows. So ask him. Just kidding. Um, he fought oh, alongside yeah. the English against the Spanish in the Caribbean in the 1660s and the 1670s. His first name was Henry, and he was knighted by King Charles II of England. His exact birth date is unknown, but it is sometime around 1650 or 35. He died in Jamaica, smoked a whole bunch of weed in 1688, and was very, very rich. Malcolm fell down the stairs. <laughs> Stop it, I swear to God. Fucking Malcolm, Jesus Christ. What? Malcolm smoked a lot of weed and died? No, he did oh, oil and did the thing. No. Ooh, oh, ooh, great. one more. There were more than 600 plots to kill Fidel Castro that we know of. Oh, Cleopatra was not Egyptian. No, not Egyptian. Shut up, Chris. Fuck. <laughs> And finally, Mary actually had a motherfucking little lamb. I was about to say that. I thought you were fucking around. You're dumb. Stop it. No. I'm not talking well, yeah, that, was snow. That's why they refer to Jesus as the Lamb of God. Uh, no, because there's that oh, sacrilege. Get together now. <laughs> you guys oh, fucked up my segment. Right now. Yeah. Over oh. me. <laughs> I don't even like you guys. <laughs> so that was my segment that was all fucked off because of, like, everybody. But what the fuck were they thinking? I don't even know because everybody already knows what they were thinking. This is history class with Sarah. Oh. You're dumb. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, I okay, love fine. the Captain Morgan bit because I didn't know that. Oh, that, makes me, that makes me like <laughs> the rum more. But more. Yeah. But he really was. Morris? And, like, he Morris. fought alongside some soldiers. Morris? He did the thing. The thing? The thing. He was pretty cool. I think, you know what, you guys? For <laughs> quarantine, let's make our next Tuesday deal all about alcohol. 
Hey, did, did you know that Abraham Lincoln was a good old man? You are looking the shit up. <laughs> that was on my site. Apparently, he thick. looked that it's in, in chairs, too, because they made a monument of him sitting in a chair. Right? chair. He jumped oh, out no, of the God. He, was, he was part of the wrestling hall of fame, you dumb bitches. Oh, oh he was a wrestler? I poured beer on yes, it. actually, he was. Before the 16th president took <laughs> office, Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Was declared a Apparently, wrestling champion. Dude, tip. I spilled more of my drink on this table than tip. in my tips. <laughs> That's, so you tips? need bigger tits, I think. Well, this straw, no matter what, it spills, so it doesn't matter. But usually it goes on my shirt, but it's been going on table. Chris, can you please get your lovely wife? So my arm's all wet right now. Anything? <laughs> Wipe it on, Chris. All right. So, so are we going to close this up? No, no. I no, we're having way too much fun, and nobody's even fucking watching. Fuck them. Yeah, no one's here, and my phone's about. To if happen. you've made it this far, well, in our live feed, you win a million dollars. People can only tune in so long. We started late, so yeah. I don't care. We're having fun. Uh, we can put it out there because I, I want to discuss it on the, the next episode. Okay. But um, Chris and I were talking about it last time, um, a couple days ago when we were driving back to town. Um, we want to hear your doppelganger stories. Yes. I have one. That will be great. I mean, we, I, I we have one. pretty much have have no one interest. on the show already. One of, the, yeah. one of these episodes, I'll do my hair just like Sarah, and then we'll do it. Bitch, I will dye my hair purple just for you. Is that what you're doing right now, purple or blue? It's all purple. Right, purple. All, all three of us. It looks blue and everything because it's filtered. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that is our next episode, Doppelgangers. Love your beards. You know, they have an actual website for that. Keep your mustaches. Yeah, but you know what's even better? I'll draw butterflies. Doppelgangers. <laughs> doppelgangers, people, and Did doppelgangers. Did you say doppelgangers? All our listeners. Doppelgangers. We want to hear your doppelgangers. Like, but Wicked is kind of brindled. I have a brindled dog, but she's not a pug. All right, so that settles it. Tonight, we post on Facebook saying next episode, we're going to be doing the doppelganger episode. Doppelgangers. <laughs> Some alcohol, alcoholic doppelganger episode, because I have some really cool alcoholic things I want to share. And let's try to bring some shit to the table next time. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I'll mix some Maybe. drinks. And we'll do that. Excuse me, I was ready an entire hour before you guys, because the poutine needed to get there. We were waiting for poutine. We yeah, it's not our fault, man. Yeah. Poutine, man. Yeah. Was it good? I don't know. Was it we haven't eaten We, haven't touched we were it waiting yet. for it. We Shut waited it's for it. It's cold. Finger. Yeah. You guys. Oh, shout out to the bistro. Make some fat poutine. Yeah, we Bom. love it. I would have had some, but you know, stupid ass water troll. Yeah, burr, fuck burr, burr, burr. Burr. You know what? You guys, should I buy a plane ticket to Washington right now? No. No. Because mm. we're not going to be there. No, Sarah, stop buying things. Stop buying tickets. Did you Only say you're not going to be there? I knew it. Can we talk about this? What? No, Sarah, no talking. No, we're not going to no, be. I need to plan things. Where's no. my list? Hold on, I'll be right back. You need to come to grips with the situation. COVID. Yes. Look, Look, I'm not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Not we're on a podcast moment. together. It's like, let's talk about There's, the Snyder Cut. You're going someplace. So much going yeah. Fucking, yeah. I'm going to me. <laughs> okay, you probably are, but like Malcolm and Neil will talk to me. Are we really minute. closing down here? Um, no, we're not. We're gonna keep going. Shantae, honey, if you need to go to bed, you and Chris Toads go to bed. Why does Chris we'll have keep to go the to bed? show? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris can rage if he <laughs> motherfucking <laughs> wants to. Look, like, the, the, the Wu Tang Clan situation. <laughs> the womb. The womb is like. Fuck. Wait, I need to take a picture of myself, like with the doing it. You're not doing it right. No, I don't have that many fingers, Malcolm. Malcolm, stop being rude. Fucking shit. I'm going to push you down the stairs. That's is it like this, Shantae? Or is it like... Probably, I think she did push me, actually. I felt something. I was in the kitchen. <laughs> it was a cold, hard breath, motherfucker. That looks like a nut sack, man. <laughs> Those are the balls. I'm sorry, but I know what the fuck a nut sack looks like because I have three sons. I got two of them right here. Oh my god, listeners and viewers, I am so very sorry that I decided to drink a little bit too much vodka. Viewers, if there's anyone out there viewing at this point, <laughs> send us pictures. This is Post really pictures. good. Oh, dude, not that. <laughs> Post pictures. If you have a nuts tattoo, we would love to fucking see it. Post a picture to the F This Account Facebook page that you're viewing. www.fthis.com.
network or yeah, whatever. Show us stop doing the Wu Tang. Stop the Wu Tang sign. Ante, can I ask you, you a really quick question before you like go comatose? Yeah, you want a that? free sticker, Shut up, Malcolm? Can I finish? I'm promoting this fucking podcast. I've been promoting all night. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, send, yes, send pictures of the Womb Tank Clan sign and what and else? Help. Your ball sat tattoos that look like naked <laughs> guinea pigs. And oh my god, I love guinea pigs. What else? So cute. Your shitty tattoos that you're like whatever about. And what, then, what's your what's the process? And my butt tattoo. What's yeah. your process of shaving your ball sack? How do you do it? Left to right. You gotta like pull the wrinkles apart, right? Yes. No and your doppelganger skate. tattoo or doppelganger story. <laughs> Wait, do you guys men? We want to be sponsored, Manscaped. <laughs> Manscaped, Manscaped, definitely. Send Sponsor us. Is. Send us some. Or pretty house. I want to try your ball clippers. <laughs> I was going to ask you a question. I'm Charlie. tired of bleeding down. <laughs> I don't know. Well, You've all weird. Like, do. <laughs> we'll just talk to each other privately. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> They're over here talking about their ball sex, and we're over here <laughs> <dip> whispering. <laughs> we're, we're trying to get. Smart. I got shit to say about the vagina shit. Isn't this how wings? That's fun too. I don't think so. We just said random shit. You guys, time. as we're talking about dumb shit and getting drunker, there is viewers we're, we're just drunk, climbing. Though. Are you sure? Speak for your goddamn self, Duff. Jesus. I'm not. So hostile. I don't even I'm know. Not. I don't think anybody else is getting drunk here but you. I'm getting there. I want That's it. rude. You should be drunk with me, you butthole. Cheers, Neil. This is to us. It's if I ever it's fucking so make it to Canada. So Malcolm fell down the stairs. We're all, we're all trying to get our own sponsors here. Who's like... <laughs> <laughs> And this is why I do podcasting, bitches, because there is one, two, three, four, four, maybe five. Cherie, shout out to you. People in Canada. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> Did you guys see that shit I shared today in the group thing? It was like We Bear Bears. They were going to Canada. I was like, oh my God, look. <laughs> You're so drunk. <laughs> I'm not. I just He's feel fine. nice. Why are you guys giving her shit? Like, yeah. I'm sitting here. Thank like, you. Oh, Shantae, you're home. the only one that cares. I'm totally sleeping in your bed. Chris, yeah, you can. You can sleep on the other can, side. For sure. She gets the middle. We so I really can't, like, skip Border yeah. Patrol. Are you sure? He came over one day yeah, just as laying it with me. totally <laughs> skip it. Shantae says I couldn't. Um, Did they, like, check your passport? Like, Challenge yeah. accepted. Awesome. We love you, listeners. We're going to let you go. Right, the next episode. Yeah. Uh, we don't know what the fuck's going to be on the next episode, but it's going to be great. On the room with uh, Tommy yes. Weiss. We oh, so. are we really? Did you say Lysol? Yes. Lysol. Like, yes. Fucking Bro. bleach. Tommy Weiss. Tommy Weiss. <laughs> okay. All right, my battery is dying too, so it. let's fuck uh, off, right? Take care, everybody. Stay All safe. Right, folks. We, All right. we love, well, they love you. I kind of. F like this. Right. This has been F this, guys. Peace right. out. Oh, okay. F this network. F this. Black lives matter. F this. Always. Black, Black lives always matter. <laughs> They've never not mattered. Bye, guys. Bye. Mm, peace. Are you waving? He's a little Are we? Out. <laughs> I didn't do a fart mouth. Are we done? You wave like Logan. He's he oh, we're just not live like, anymore, but it's still recording. Like a baby. <laughs> These are the bloopers. <laughs> oh yes, that's relatively nice. Look at I. This. I fell down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> no, Stop it! Hey, do you guys want to see my painting? Because I'm probably not going to paint it. Want to see my butt tattoo? I've been waiting. I'll. Sh Oh, we're, we no. gotta go back online. Hold on, I'm gonna go back live. Stop it! I'm not gonna show the entire world. That's Malcolm, you're the only shares. person that's seen the blood tattoo. We only needed had twenty. We only needed five to see Duck's tummy tattoo. Shares. We needed ten to see your booty. We never had twenty. We had like eight.